All right, uh, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to uh, our board meeting at Alcasan. I do want to say before we start, um, this is something unique. We've never tried this before. Um, there are some obviously extenuating circumstances, but I think on behalf of the board, um, the staff at Alcasan, we want to first um, thank everybody for tuning in, thank all of our employees for making these sacrifices over the last couple of weeks, as well as all the residents um, that we represent. And we just want to say on behalf of the board and staff that in these trying times to please stay safe, um, be with your loved ones, your family, and continue to follow the rules as we get through this process. Um, we do have board members over the phone, so we are going to start with the roll call. Mr. Rechaw? Mr. Shea? Ms. Smith? Here. Mr. Weinstein? Here. Dr. Gilliam? Present. Ms. Wilson? Here. Mr. O'Connor? Here. Thank you. Now we will all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, we have no visitors at this time. Uh, we will begin with uh, information item B. Uh, Mark Dussel is over the phone with their annual audit report. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Before uh, before we ask Dave to uh, go through the uh, the annual audit, I want to say that on March 18th, our auditing firm, Mark Dussel, did host a dial-in audit committee meeting. The audit committee consisting of board members uh, uh, Weinstein, uh, Dr. Gillum, and uh, Brenda Smith. Uh, during that meeting, uh, Dave and the uh, uh, partner, Jeff Kent, manager Levi Zelensky, went through the details of the audit, and after the uh, after that meeting, the audit committee voted to recommend acceptance of the uh, 1231 financial statements to the entire board. As Dave, I think, will tell you, uh, the audit went smooth. It was a very successful year, and with that, uh, Dave, if you're on the line, step in. Thank you, Bill. Uh, you said much, but I intended to say, well, uh, I just want to say We've got good cooperation from management throughout. Uh, I understand the board has in their uh, possession a copy of the financial statement. One thing to point out with this year's financial statement is that for the first time, uh, the Governmental Accounting Standards Board has required the authority to include uh, the financial statements of its pension plans as part of their annual audit. In the past, it was disclosure related to the pension plan, but for, for the first time, uh, there are schedules that show the pension plan's assets uh, as a uh, fiduciary fund of the authority. I'm happy to report that our audit resulted in a clean opinion. Uh, that's uh, the highest opinion that you can get. Uh, and Alcacin had a, uh, a positive year, uh, ending the year with net position of $350 million, of which about $150 million represents your net investment in your capital assets. Uh, as Bill mentioned, we went through the, re the report and the audit in, in detail with the audit committee, but I'd be happy to answer any questions that anyone might have. All right, thank you. Uh, we will now go to our capital budget status report. Uh, Kim Kennedy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So this is our first uh, look at the 2020 capital budget. If you remember in January, when I did this report, it was sort of a wrap up of the 2019. Uh, so if you can see, we are um, anticipating a 2020 capital budget of 113 million. Again, this is just as of March 26, so we're looking at, you know, our major expenditures are the two plant expansion projects that will be bidding this year, the North End Facilities and the East Headworks, and then also um, full steam ahead on preliminary planning, as you can see, first quarter of this year, as we have several consent decree deliverables associated with preliminary planning this year. Um, and with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have on the budget. 
Thank you. Uh, we will now go to reports of action by the executive director and approving change orders less than $30,000, exhibit B, items one, uh, under contract 1679, sonar inspection of the Alcasan deep tunnel system, and item two, uh, contract 1659A, annual inspection cleaning contract. Mr. Chairman, both of these are long-term contracts that uh, didn't necessarily start out to be long-term contracts uh, for work specific to the interceptor system. They are both credits and closeouts at this time. The first one for the sonar work. That contract was initially awarded June. 2017, October, October 2017. Um, you can see there's been extensive extension. Uh, you'll remember the emergency repairs that were required came as part of actually the next one, the interceptor claim. Um, happy that these two are coming to a close, as Jan had indicated in her report, there will be ongoing need. All right, thank you. Uh, we'll now go to action items. Can I have an approval of the minutes from last month? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, now we'll go to item B, an approval of the invoices. I need a motion? So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, now uh, uh, item C, motion to approve the following contract. Contract 1706, Clay Street source separation to Costa Contracting. Um, if you do have your uh, packet in front of you, it's Exhibit D. I do want to say, and uh, the executive director may mention this, but the low bid did not follow the PLA rules, and I think you know, for us to have standards here, it's a credit to the staff that goes through this process and does a background check, and then also that, you know, we're continuing to pay people a living wage is very important. Uh, I know, you know, especially when you're talking about labors and unions and contracts, this is very important that we do that. So I don't know if the director wants to add anything on that or not. Mr. Chairman, it was nothing to add. Thank you. All right. I need a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, items D, E, and F. Uh, we did have a professional services meeting on the 12th. Um, item D is a motion to award laboratory, industrial waste facility, and parking garage construction management um, inspection services to G. Stevens uh, Incorporation. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, and authorize the executive director to negotiate a fee. Mr. Chairman, this, as you just read it, is going to provide for CM services, construction management, construction management services for our new lab and industrial waste facility that's required. As we need to relocate the current facilities for plant expansion and consent decree compliance. Again, you've already awarded design. This is the construction management side. Okay, I need a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, item E, motion to approve modification of service authorization 343 for MS consultants to provide for a crack repair uh, specification development associated with contract 1722. Mr. Chairman, again, as you read, it, it is a small piece of work, but it is necessary. The storage facility that's going to be placed on top of this tank requires that the tank surface integrity be in check. This was something that was left out of the initial proposal. Well, the initial negotiations. It needs to be incorporated now. All right, I need a motion. So moved. Second. 
All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, uh, item F, motion to approve modification of service authorization AECOM to continue as program manager of the regionalization program through May 28, 2020. Mr. Chairman, AECOM is the program manager for this very significant piece of our wet weather programming. This, as indicated, is simply going to take them to the end of May, we will come back with an additional authorization request in the coming months. All right, I need a motion. So moved. Need a second. Can I ask a question about this? Uh, yes. Sure, yes, sorry. Um, is it possible for them to do, uh, to continue to do all of that work? I, I can't remember if that was mentioned previously in talking about you know how we were adapting but will they be able to do all of the work by the end of may that this would cover they will be able to do what we need them to do and anything else would be part of our force mature argument that will be made with respect to any delays that are necessitated by the current circumstances okay, okay thank you Thank you. Okay, we had a motion. I just need a second. 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 All, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, item G. Uh, motion to modify the grant agreements for the GROW program. Mr. Chairman, we have two, two projects that need to be extended initially. I had indicated to the board that there would be three. Unfortunately, we were required to cancel the great committee meeting where we would have presented this information. Uh, but the fact that we only ended up needing to extend two rather than the three initially anticipated absolutely because the third was able to complete everything they needed to do. So notice no extension is required. The first thing to show still had some ongoing issues with their contractor. You can see that they had previously been extended. Verona, the second project here, simply needs more time to evaluate the effectiveness of what they've done. All right, thank you. I need a motion. So moved. Need a second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, now the last item is a motion to accept uh, Mardusel audit report for the year ending December 31st, 2019. We heard the report. Can I have a motion? So moved. So moved. Can I have a second? Second. Second. <laughs> All in favor? I, okay. I just want to, you know, thank thank you all for joining us. Thank the staff for setting this up. I did see that 21 people signed in to watch. 22 now. Our ratings are going up. Uh, nobody liked this meeting, um, so that's interesting. Um, but uh, I do want to thank everybody. Uh, you know, these are trying times, and we will hopefully see what the next meeting brings us. And our next meeting is April 23rd. 2020. So I am making a motion to adjourn the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.